Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk today about some things the Lord's been dealing with me about trusting in the Lord. So I'm going to kind of dive into some of the Word, kind of wisdom, uh, instruction, trusting in the Lord. It's kind of all wrapped together, and I'll just kind of tell you where I'm at. It's kind of like a rebuilding process in my life So right now. So I'm kind of just going to share with you. So... Here's one of the scriptures the Lord gave me. Actually, my wife has this little thing on top of the sink, and it's got this scripture on it. So really, that's, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spread out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes. But its leaves will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Trust Proverbs 3 and 4, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. That's another one. Um, I've just been diving into Proverbs 1 through 4, all about wisdom. Wisdom from above, James 3, 17, that came to me one time when I was really in prayer and didn't know what to do, and there were some troubles in the, in, in, in the midst of our family, and I just went to the Lord and cried out and said, finally I said, Jesus, what would you do? He said, I always go to my word. And he took me to James three seventeen, the wisdom from above, first peaceable, gentle, I had to just I wanted to say something to this family member really badly. The Lord had me back off, use his wisdom. Within two weeks, the whole situation completely changed around, miraculously, because I listened to God, trusted in him. And I want to go back to that trust that I first had when I very first, at 20 years old, very first got saved, filled with the Holy Spirit. I want that, just that intimate trust, just that, not not necessarily blind trust, just there. Here I am, Jesus. Have your way in my life. I want that, I want that childhood, childhood trust once again. That's kind of where I'm at, you know. I kind of feel like I lost some of that just throughout the years and just kind of, maybe neglect or just I don't know I'm just kind of just being real with y'all that's where I'm at and the Lord's been dealing with me about the wisdom piece the trust piece the instruction piece that's just kind of where I'm at so it's time for us to trust in the Lord and, and, and it's you know take it to current events really I tried to kind of watch the news some I'm not trying to politicize anything but just not a whole lot of trust out there People don't trust Trump, people don't trust the media, people don't trust, and I'm not saying he should, what I'm saying is it's just all this mistruths and lies and stuff and just garbage going on, you know, I, I, I kind of want to know what's going on politically in the world because, you know, I live in America, I want to know where this country's, where this country's headed to, you know. I don't have a lot. Look at my one on economic collapse, my video on economic collapse. I don't really trust Congress. All they do is borrow more money. That, that's the best plan they can come up with. They don't attack the problem. The problem of the Social Security is is draining this country. And there's some real complex issues. I get it. And the other piece of the issue is that there's just not enough taxes coming in because they let corporate America you know get by with all these loopholes and you know i mean it's real complicated and i'm not pretending to have the answer i'm saying the wisdom from above is the answer and jesus can give the answer to the solution we need to pray for our country and our leaders so just trusting in the lord and getting our leaders to trust in the lord and really just praying for our country praying for our leaders and praying for the world and praying for the church and just i mean turn back over our trust to Him. That the outcome is going to be awesome. We're living in the last day, end time, grace, revival, movement of God. All kinds of things could happen. You know, this world is in, you know, all around is in dire straits. Absolutely. But trusting in Jesus, 
putting our trust in Him. You know, John 3, 16. Awesome scripture. Everybody stands on that. Loves to run to that. All based upon trust. Trust in the Lord. That Jesus was the Son, His Son, that died for our sin, that we could have eternal life. So I just want to get back to that childhood trust. I just want to trust in the Lord. I'm just, you know, I'm working on it. I need, you know, I'm just kind of diving into that and just kind of in that realm of wisdom, trust, instruction. Instruction is a hard thing for people to, you know, for people to take sometimes. Me included. I'm not, you know, I, I got a ways to go. I'm working on it. I need to just dive into this and let this word meditate and soak in my heart and anyhow that's my peace trusting in the lord so that's just you know share with me comment with me if you like it you know put a comment on there if you like it share it with your friends on facebook twitter whatever instagram uh appreciate any comments you can give me any feedback you want to give me there's an awesome inspirational book about visions that i wrote look at the video about free christian books and visions um just thanks for tuning into my youtube channel god bless you have a wonderful day you got any comments that you want to just email me directly just email me at steve youngstrom at yahoo.com have a great day trust in the lord that's just kind of my piece for today that's where i'm at i want to just dive deeper and deeper and deeper into 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 him and into that childhood trust just blanketed with trust in him so anyhow god bless you have a great and wonderful day talk to you soon